Hi everybody, it's me again. This is part two. I wanted to go ahead and, and continue with our uh, little um, cover that we're going to be putting on our mushroom journal. And I have a couple of mushrooms here that I wanted to cut out. I don't know if I want that one. Or I think I might want one of these. Maybe I can use this one here on the edge. Maybe this one would be better. Let's try. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the last video. It was real fun. And, um, you know, when I start these videos like this and I just have you know, kind of a basic idea. It takes me longer. <laughs> it takes me longer to figure out, you know, what I really want. And, um, you know, I can't sometimes even do that unless I'm actually in the midst of it. So sometimes that's just the way it goes, you know, and um, it takes a little longer. So if you are a short video watcher, that's all right. You know, I, I don't mind. And um, you can just watch part of it if you want. You can zoom through it because you can fast forward. And um, you can fast forward. You can back up. You know, do whatever you like. And um, I hope you enjoy them. That's, that's my whole reason for being here is to maybe, you know, inspire you to do something on your own. Or just to show you and share what I'm doing because I love I love what I do so much. Okay, now I like this, but I think it needs something under it. So maybe another piece of the. We need a big a regular piece, irregular. Yeah, we we don't want it. We don't want it, you know. <laughs> this is just crumbling in my fingers. We want it kind of like that. What do you think? Oh. <laughs> I think I kind of like it. Let's put some ink on it. didn't want it to blend in too too much I don't know I think I'll take this color here off maybe it will you know show a little more if it doesn't work you know I'll just take it off I think that's better balanced okay let's try to make these edges dark without destroying the photo. We do want them to stand out. Yeah, I think it's time for me to do a like a forest or a woods journal too. I haven't done one of those for a really long time. I was thinking maybe a boho <coughs> journal because I do have some beautiful boho garments and pieces and jewels and stuff but whew, they were so hard for me I did a whole series um geez, a year year and a half ago uh they sold real fast and um I know people loved them but it was difficult for me I'm gonna make this kind of tilted but this one like that what do you think does that show up pretty nice it does from here I don't know if it shows up that well under the, uh, in the camera, but I think we'll, I think we'll put that down. I am going to use, <laughs> if I open it, I'll use this because the paper is so fragile. 
it's like, wow, fragile. So fragile. Okay. And then I can put this one down with wet glue. Now I do have some, um, I do have some lace here. It's pretty white. I, it won't go unless I grunge it up. Yeah. I'll just let that be. I'll put a little label or something here. I have, I have these little doodads. They kind of go like that. I wonder how that would look if I had them. One here and one here. Hmm. It's a thought. I can grunge them up a bit. Where'd they go? Oh, they're right here. That one and see. Gotta find two that match. <laughs> well, that one. Oh, I have this one. Matches that one. Has more dark on it. We'll see. All right, we got that down. Okay, that's feeling good. Now let's get this mushroom down. Well, by the way, this is Sherry from Sherry Cottage. I don't know if I said that because I just started the second video right away. And, um, and I want to say welcome. If you haven't seen the first video, you might want to look at it. It's uh, it's there. It'll say part one. All right. There we go. Maybe I can add a little pink to it. A little grungy pink. I might do that. <laughs> All right. You guys, I've been watching um, Outlander. I watched it all up until, let's see, uh, season six came out yesterday. But I've been watching it over again. I'm only on season three you know, for the um, catch-up. I didn't want to just catch up. I wanted to watch it all again because I, I watched it, you know, like a year ago. It's a little risque, but what a love story. Oh, man, it's just such a good... Um, they love each other so, so much, and, and uh, it's a little gruesome. <laughs> I think I'll just have to put it over here because I put this here, right? I guess so. Maybe over here. Oh my gosh, maybe I'll put it up there. Let's see. Oh, I like it up there. All right. Uh, anyway, um, it's, uh, you know, mostly set in the 1700s. But um, I just love period piece uh, movies. Gosh, I've watched so many of them. I've watched, you know, the Viking ones and the, um, oh, I can't even think of the name of them now. But um, I think I've watched all of them that, that are available on Netflix and prime time. I got to think about this. Getting in between all these little window things here. It's it's not the um, it's a lot of them are bloody and gory and stuff because that's the way they were in those days, and um, I just I find it fascinating, you know, that they could live like that and. And uh, women lived like they did. And um, 
I don't know, it's just bring to, has brought a lot of understanding to me about the past. And it's not even, you know, my own ancestors that, uh, well, maybe some, you know, maybe some. Uh, but I find them fascinating. Bridgerton, that's another one. And it, uh, it's supposed to have, I don't know if it has it already, a new season coming out. Um, it takes them a long time to decide whether they're going to do the new season or not. And I'm sure it's all based on views and money. But uh, you know how it goes. This is very intricate here. <laughs> yeah. A little fudgy here. Oof. See, I, I didn't even plan on this. This is just one of those things I thought. Hmm. It kind of fell out of the envelope I have over here on my desk. And I thought, oh, that might look good. But then I was going to put it down here. and See how I changed my mind? I just changed my mind every step of the way, practically. All right, I like that. So you can put something in here. I'm going to glue this down right here. So it will stay put. And yet, you'll be able to, um, you know, glue. Glue. You'll be able to add, you know, something else on top of there if you wanted to. A picture or, you know, flowers or you know, something else. I don't know. Okay, let's put the lid on that. Well, so far, I'm liking this pretty much. I wonder, I wonder if <laughs> actually I thought this might be a nice piece to have on here right at the top, a little tiny piece. Put this, grunge it up. Oops. I can hear the water outside dripping. And the roof. Don't want to cover up mushroom, but I thought I'd put a little piece of this here. And I could just cut it off. Okay, guys, are we ready to uh, glue this down? We ready to glue this baby down? Belly's hanging out. It's in the way. <laughs> I'm leaning forward on my stool. Okay. It needs some lace or something. Needs something, something, something. Um, what do we got here? This is like a, a trim that kind of goes underneath. Ugh. 
So it's like it'd be very difficult to put down. Mm. Yeah, I don't think so. I could grunge up some of this and put a piece of this here and put it on the edge. I might do that. Let's cut her. All right. Let's try this. I wish I could be one of those who just, you know, has everything planned out. Zippity doo dah, everything's there that they need. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to do that. Uh, and then I find all these little pieces, you know, that I, I love these little old pieces. I might put that right there. Well, see how terrible I am. Just keep changing. But usually, you know, it comes out so pretty. I really have to say, even though, hope this doesn't make it tear. Uh oh, I got it wet. All right. All right, now I'm going to put this down. I'm going to go in between the the bend and the the thread. I know it's white and it needs to be you know um, <laughs> hope I didn't stick my head in the frame. It needs to be glued on the edges. I'll just let that sit there for a while and it should be okay before I, you know, mess her up. All right, now. This one I'm going to use the bigger, the bigger bottle of glue since I have this whole thing to do. And this is, uh, I believe this is art glitter glue. <gasps> That's from a. That is from a non-stainless steel pin. And I thought that pin was stainless steel. That happens to me. Must have at some time or another. Well, I bought these stainless steel pins, I know. But one time or another, I must have thrown in some, you know, just regular pins in with them. So occasionally when I pull one out, it's really not stainless steel. Get that glue off my fingers can't put it on my pants today all right guys let's see if we can get this on here nice oh I think it's gonna be so nice oh my gosh oh, I am loving this and then this will be on here. This will not look like this, you know. It's going to have this fabric. Well, let's just try it. Just stick this under here. And then this will be on top. I think it's going to look yummy. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right. I have thought about this and I think what I'm going to do is use this for the front and the back and whatever I have left over I will try to make a spine. All right here we go. 
it's a little too short this way. So what I'm going to do, I need to get two fronts out of it. Uh, I think I can. I think if I take it all the way up to the top here, and all the way over one, I need to leave a little room so I can straighten out that cut before I, before I, um, oh, I can't think, I cannot think and, um, talk at the same time. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just want something to help me hold this down while I cut it. <sighs> Okay, just gives you an extra little hand. I think this needs to move down a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, everybody, the worst thing that can happen is it just won't work, right? First thing I'm going to do is cut along this edge. Use my fabric scissors. Oh, fabric scissors. That's not them. Where did you go? <laughs> Maybe I should use my, um, yeah, maybe I should use the zigzag. Let's see. I got it right over here. I'm sorry, I should have stopped the video, I guess. Let's try these. All right. That's looking good, huh? Yeah, that's not too bad. Let's move this out of the way. All right. Let's go up this side. Then what I'll do is I'll glue this on and I'll take it to the sewing machine and um, sew it on all the way around the edges and maybe down the spine too <laughs> sometimes it's a little hard to get your hand where you want it because that's the piece I might, you know, make a, a patch right there. Sew it right there. I might do that. Okay, on we go. I might sew that patch on by hand, you know, real rough hand work since I I can't do fine hand work. Okay, you guys. Do we like this? 
I think I'm going to like it. I have it upside down. This is right side up, I think. So the patchwork will be up here. That'll be cool. All right. Let's, um, where did I put that? Oh, here's our, I've got some beautiful old lace. I'm going to, um, let me get it out. It is so old. If you pull on it, you can rip it by hand. It's that old. I used some of it in my CW planner. I don't know which uh, which uh, version or which number it was, but I did use some. That looks good, huh, guys? All right. Let me look. There's that lace. Now, I know I used, didn't use all of it. it and this thing it look you just go like this and it tears isn't that amazing i better cut that off there this is it it's so so old all right let me see. i thought it would look nice um you know like maybe on the side here Underneath, underneath like this. Wow, if I would have tore any more off, it wouldn't work. Sometimes I get lucky. I think I'm gonna put it under here, like that. I think that looks nice. Uh-huh, I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna put it on here. Get the right side up this way, and I'm going to use. Uh, I'm not going to put that back in. I'm going to use Fabric Fusion. I bought this and I haven't used it yet, and I want to try it. This is made by um, the company that makes tacky glue, um, Aileen's. So I want to try it. Uh-oh. Is it coming out? I didn't look to see if there was a thing in here. Oh, yes. Yeah, not going to come out without that off. Pretty thick. Uh, is this alcohol-based? It says it's permanent, machine washable. Uh, Non-toxic, dries, clear and flexible. Easy application. Oh, it's it's uh, manufactured by Fabrique. Huh. Well, it doesn't say if it's uh, water soluble. Press onto garment if needed. Hold in place with tape or pins until set. Let dry two to four hours. Oh. Washable after 48. Turn inside out. Wash on gentle. Not recommended for felt, fleece, or patches with plastic backing. Well, all we can do is try it, guys. It's just going to be on a piece of lace. And, oh, and I'll have to test it to see if it's um, water soluble. Use my little. Oh, 
Okay. Goes this way. Oh, I did want to gather a tiny bit. Boy, I get real quiet when I'm thinking, don't I? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, let's see how many minutes we've used. 50 minutes. Okay, well, at least we'll get to see whoop, what it's going to look like after I get it sewed on. I've got to do the patch and everything first, but I think that's going to be really, really pretty. And um, I'm excited about that. All right, you guys, I'm going to say bye-bye. And um, when I get all finished with this, I'll show you the finished product, maybe in Monday's um, video. Okay, we'll see you next time. Remember, like, subscribe, and come back for some more. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye-bye.